Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and this week I need to focus on some easy and high in carb meals. I haven't been talking about this much very recently, but I am training for my second marathon, which is coming up on April 2nd. And since it's getting a lot closer, the mileage is starting to pick up. So for example, this coming up Saturday, I have a 20 mile run scheduled and it's just going to kind of go up from there until the big day, which is obviously 26.2 miles. So I have been needing lots and lots of carbs recently. Now say what you want to about carbs. Some people don't need a whole lot. Some people need to avoid them for whatever reason. I need a ton because carbs give me energy to let me run that 20 mile distance. So this week I'm focusing a lot on pasta and different grains like rice and quinoa, adding them into salads, into bowls, maybe trying to eat some sandwiches, lots of oatmeal, and they're easy meals because I need to save up some energy. Now I went to Aldi and Meyer this week for my grocery shopping. I also went to Flash Food a couple of times throughout the week. I only recorded like one little clip because I just, I go so often. Um, what you do not see is a bunch of chicken that I bought. I try to get like chicken breast and chicken thighs when they are marked down to really cheap because I'll cook them in the instant pot and I'll shred them and I'll uh, freeze them in individual bags. So I'm able to get like maybe three or four meals worth out of one package of chicken. And I'll be posting like an Instagram reel and a YouTube short pretty soon of how I cook my chicken in the instant pot and then freeze it all for later. So be on the lookout for that. I found a few good deals this week and was able to stock up on some things for the pantry. So let's get into the haul now and I'll show you everything that I bought. Just showing a couple of little finds from the Flash Food app. They've been having a lot of really good deals on new things. So the first thing that I found, I've never seen them on Flash Food app before, is this Clio. These are chocolate Greek yogurt bars. They have eight grams of protein. They come in these cute little boxes and they were like 74 cents each. I figured, hey, let's try a few and see if they're any good. And Allison has been loving yogurt pouches. I bought the Horizon ones last week for really cheap and then they had these on the Flash Food app for like three something for a four pack, which is really, really good. So I bought this to kind of last her the rest of the week. I went to Aldi and Meyer this morning and got a few pretty good deals. We will start with Aldi though. I got a lot of fresh produce today. First, I got a package of strawberries for Allison, then just some bananas. I don't ever eat bananas if they are like the least bit brown. <laughs> I always like to eat them when they're yellow-ish, so I always like to buy some every single week. And I bought a few vegetables to roast for a like a dinner bowl. So I got a package of Brussels sprouts and a package of broccoli. And then let's see, so those are gonna be roasted. The other ones I'm actually gonna use in salads. So I bought a package of white mushrooms and a package of baby carrots. By the time I went to Aldi, I went, I went to Meyer beforehand and I wanted some shredded carrots, but forgot until I went to Aldi. So I, I just bought these and then I'll put them in the food processor or something, not a big deal. And Allison wanted some baby bell, so I got one package here to kind of hold her over until I can get to Sam's Club and get them for a whole lot cheaper. And I got a bag of miniature chocolate chips. We were just about out. And I'm stocking up the freezer with three bags of frozen broccoli, then two containers of cottage cheese, and a container of Greek yogurt. We also needed some cheese, so I got a bag of shredded cheddar and then a bag of shredded mozzarella. We're using those in random dinners. Then some spinach using in like a pasta dinner this week. Got milk back here and then two cans of crushed tomatoes. I am making basil tomato soup. I still have to go out and get the basil because none of the stores had them. And I got some salami for Allison. She wanted something different in her lunches, so I got that. And I got her another one of these Lunchables for one of her school days. And a container of these protein yogurts, the mixed berry flavor. Allison's been enjoying them. 
I know we needed a few snack bars, so I just got one box of the dark chocolate peanut butter protein bars. Then a big container of rolled oats. I actually used up all the oats last week, which was crazy. So one container of that, and plus the price went up again, so I'm kind of sad about that. Then back here, we've got some romaine hearts for salad. And then the last thing for Aldi is just a bag of veggie straws. So over at Meyer, they had a seven for seven sale. It, they, it used to be a 10 for 10, but it's now seven for seven. And now you have to buy seven of them to get the sale price of a dollar. Like when it was 10 for 10, you could just buy them all for a dollar each and it was fine. Anyway, I stocked up on a few things because they were pretty cheap. First of all, eggs were cheaper at Meyer than they were at Aldi. So I got two dozen of those. Then I bought two boxes of these Danimals pouches. They were th or two for seven, I believe. So they were three fifty each. I can't remember if I had a coupon. I probably did not. Then she's been enjoying the nacho Lunchables. So I figured I would get her just one of those. Um, one of the things on that sale were the Lance crackers. She typically likes the peanut butter ones, but they were all out. So I got the cheese ones instead. So hopefully she'll like those. I got some whole wheat English muffins. I am making some breakfast sandwiches this week. And then also on the sale was pasta sauce. So I got three jars. I only needed one, but I also needed to get up to the seven items. So I just bought a couple extra. So there's one that's garlic lovers. One of them is a chunky garlic and cheese. And then the other one is a chunky garden combination. And then I got two containers of chicken broth because they were on sale for a dollar. So I stocked up the pantry there. And then the last thing from Meyer, I wanted some sort of like marinade or sauce for chicken. I have been getting chicken really cheap from flash food. And so I've been like cooking it in the instant pot, shredding it and freezing it, but I don't put any spices or sauces on it just, you know, because I want to do something different with it every time. So anyway, I got some of this G Hughes sugar-free teriyaki marinade. That sounded really good. So I'll, all I will do is just kind of mix some of this with chicken and then I'll put it like on a salad or maybe in a bowl. So my total for this weekend was $109.99. Now I did have an overage from last week, which is why I'm over my $100 budget this week. So I'm still, actually I calculated all of it. I am 25 cents under budget, so hooray for me. So as far as the meal plan goes for this week, last week I had put lentil curry on the menu. I made it as a freezer meal session a few weeks ago. My plan was to use it last week, but we ended up having a lot of leftovers and an unexpected like eating out session. So I'm saving it for this week instead, which is going to save us a little bit of money. I also have a like cheesy spinach pasta casserole and I've made it a few times before. Now, when John and I first got married, I created an all recipes account. If you've never been to the all recipes website, like think Pinterest, but for recipes. So I had a whole bunch of recipes saved in my collection. I was just looking through them and saw that I'm like, I need to make that again because that was really, really good. And then we're having salads and bowls this week as well. So I just bought a whole bunch of random vegetables for roasting and for adding in salads. So like the mushrooms, the Brussels sprouts, the broccoli, just whatever I could find, that's what's gonna go in there. So I'm gonna take some shredded chicken from the freezer and I will mix it with that teriyaki sauce that I bought. And then that'll go in the salad with probably some rice and then just all the vegetables that I have. And then the bowl, you can probably call it a Buddha bowl. Um, you can just throw just about anything in there. So I've got some quinoa and then I have, like I can put some spinach in there and I'll roast the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli maybe add some cheese to it as well. It's gonna be really good. Another recipe I found on the All Recipes website was basil tomato soup. I had made that a long time ago and I'm really craving soup again. So I'm gonna make that. The only thing I'm missing is basil. I'll have to go back out to the store and grab some fresh basil, but that's it. And then for breakfast, I am doing a small meal prep session. I'm making 
a breakfast sandwiches. So I bought those English muffins and then I have some extra deli ham in the fridge and then some extra sliced cheddar. And then I'm also making some eggs in the oven. Now I'm going to be releasing like a YouTube short slash Instagram reel on how I make those sandwiches. In the meantime, I do have a video that and a blog post that explains how I make them. I think there's those were bagels, but you can also do them with English muffins. Well, that is all I have for you today. I do have some more recipes that are coming up both in blog post form and in video form. So keep checking back here. Check my blog. I have the link down below. If you want to sign up for my email newsletter, I send it out every Friday with a whole list of everything that I published that week. So if you want to subscribe to that, you can do so below. And as always, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and ring that bell so you'll be notified when more of these videos videos come out as well as my recipes and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.